All right, what's the deal, fam? It's your boy, the HBCU OG, Mark Gray. Thanks for hanging out with us. Welcome to the HBCU Sports Nation, the only place in cyberspace that keeps it real and don't give a damn about who they piss off. Anyway, among the things that went down last week, let's take a look at the scores right now. Harvard proved who was the real HU by blasting Howard 48 to seven. Hampton, not enough to uh, stifle Monmouth. It was South Carolina State continuing to struggle, but I think they got a bit of a check when they took that beat down from Tennessee Tech. Texas Southern edges past Bethune, Cook, and big win for the folks in Houston. More disappointing for our friends in Daytona Beach. Delaware, a 21-6 win over North Carolina A&T, and doesn't seem like the come up is working out in the CAA for the Aggies. Alabama State, a 24-19 winner over Jackson State. So I guess Eddie Robinson Jr. is really squat with prime at Colorado. Alabama A&M knocked off Grambling. It was Southern, a much needed win over Lincoln of California. Mississippi Valley finds a way to put a beat down on Pine Bluff. Tennessee State holds it down at homecoming over Norfolk State to Division II. Let's check out some of that CIAA thing that is going on. Yeah, they play football down there too. Uh, Johnson C. Smith by eight over St. Augustine's. It was Lincoln by a touchdown over uh, Elizabeth City. That was Lincoln of Pennsylvania. Winston-Salem State put the beat down on Shaw by 21. That's IAC on the Thursday night matchup. Benedict knocked off Fort Valley State while Shorter a winner over Clark Atlanta. Miles rolls Morehouse, but then what is new when it comes to Morehouse football these days? Edward Waters shocks Tuskegee. Edward Waters is a little bit better than folks advertise. That's your HBCU score award for this week. So you want some highlights? I got some highlights, and we even gonna drop a little of that beat. Let's hear some of that aristocrat of bands, why don't you, as we go to the highlights. And Draylon Ellis threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then he watched as Tennessee State blew a 17 point lead in the Thriller on homecoming in Music City. Ellis scored on an 18 yard touchdown run to help the Tigers beat Norfolk State 24-17. He went six of 11 passing for 76 yards with a touchdown, added another 57 yards rushing on eight carries for Tennessee State, who is now four and two. Meanwhile, Norfolk State quarterback Otto Kuhn's 10 of 27, 129 with an interception. Isaiah Abbey had three rushing touchdowns. Charles DePrima threw for two more scores and Harvard rolled past Howard 48 to seven. The Crimson outgained the Bison 469 and 274 yards that is, and held them scoreless until the final three and a half minutes. Quarterback Quentin Williams of Howard, 11 of 22 passing for a buck 11 on the yardage dip for the Bison. But the story of this one, boys and girls, Harvard ran through Howard's defense like it wasn't even there. They rushed for 341 yards to Jersey, where mom was too much for Hampton. Jaden Schroeder rushed for 276 yards and four touchdowns to help Monmouth run away from Hampton, 61 to 10. Yes, that qualifies as a beatdown. Duran Butts ran for 85 yards on 18 carries. The Pirates now fall to three and three overall and one and two in their league. And in Delaware, Kyron Cumby ran for 144 yards and two touchdowns, leading Delaware to a 21-6 win over North Carolina A&T. The number eight fighting Blue Hens rushed for 322 yards and held the Aggies to just 196 total yards. That included only 31 yards passing. Tough day for the Aggies. That does it for this week's edition of the HBCU Sports Nation. Share the link and tell your friends about 10, 12, 15,000 of them. We got room on the bus as we look to pull out and see you on the HBCU Sports Nation. Follow your boy at The Sports Groove and becoming the Sports Nation family on Facebook.
by searching for HBCU Sports Nation. Till next time, it's the OG Mark Gray. I'll see you around the nation for show. Sure.